Meanwhile, in Nollywood, Steve Gukas has graduated his fourth director under his first feature project that helps aspiring filmmakers direct their first feature movie. The latest movie, Q Borrowed, premiered recently in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria, and stirs up the conversation around domestic violence. Check it out. Renowned filmmaker Steve Gokas leads out the cast and crew of the third movie under his first features project to a red carpet premiere in Lagos, southwest Nigeria. The movie titled Kill Boro is directed by a first-time director, Courage Obayuana, and brings to the front burner issues around domestic violence, its effect on children, and perhaps a few catalysts that allow the barbaric act to fester. Gokas already revered for his features, 93 Days and A Day with the Stars, beams with smiles like a proud dad showing off the works of his ward. Well, Kilboro is, um, is a story that has a strong theme. Um, it deals with the themes of family, of love, protection, uh, the hope for redemption and sacrifice. Um, and it's a very gripping story uh, that follows, you know, um, uh, Elijah, you know, a young child who is reacting to the way his father, you know, treats his mother and he takes things into his hands with very serious consequences. But in the end, you know, everybody finds joy and happiness. So um, as a story, I think it will hit home for a lot of people in different ways, uh, but hopefully in ways that you would be remembering for a long time. Kilboro stars Kosiso Chuku Ogboruche, who is in his early teens, in lead role and chronicles the story of the sacrifice, determination and tenacity of his character as he looks around for solution to an incessant trouble in his home. The young actor making his silver screen debut left reviewers and critics impressive reviews as he held his ground opposite some of Nollywood's established names including Inidima Okoje, Gregory Ojefwa, Philip Asaya, and many others. You think life is hard now? Try living more without a father. He's no father, and I want him dead. Enough. What's my please? 200,000 is the fee. I'll do it. I'll get you your 200,000 naira. It was really exciting. I mean, coming into a movie, bringing me out of my comfort zone, acting as a, a rugged boy, a street boy, it was really exciting. I was really excited for it. Oh yes, it was emotional. The part where my father, my, my father was abusing me, I think that really got me emotional as the leader, the person being abused. And I, I really felt with the character Elijah because he's trying to protect his mom from their, his abusive father. That shows a huge amount of love from the character. I think this sends a message to all the abusive parents all around Nigeria. and It shows us that being a, and it also shows the power of love in the family. That it shows that a, family, a family's love can do anything and can make anyone go to certain points just to protect that love for his family. Bayoana, who is riding on the back of Gokas into the industry, also made a good first impression with the title as begins to chart his own path in filmmaking. So Kiboro is a story about domestic violence, basically, and it's a story that has not been touched so much in many years. And when I was given the story to tell, I realized that I have a personal connection to the story because I like working with children and being able to like collaborate with child actors and also working with industry experts felt like it's a story I'm to tell. And also, it's a ghetto story. The first short film I made that drew the biggest attention to me was a short film based in the ghetto-like area. So, which was why this was like, it was like a match made in him because he knows I like telling gritty and gritty story, and this story fits my niche. And now that he approached me, I think this particular story to tell. Your body for my family. Rising actor Philip Asaya plays the abusive husband and father in the movie. According to him, his character also reflected more than the monstrous side of an abusive individual. So it's it's a family story, um, of course, um, depicting the human the human strength. You know, uh, it touches on um, depression. It, it touches on. Um, 
family conflict, it touches on um, trust issues, it touches on um, the challenges that people go through every day and how people go about resolving these issues. Um, it's, it's pretty much about humanity for me. So when you get to see the movie, I, I believe that a lot of people will identify with different segments of the movie with different um, plot twists in the story. Because like I said, I mean, it's an everyday reality. It's an everyday reality, irrespective of where you find yourself. So yeah, um, people will somewhat identify with, with the story and the characters involved. Kill Burrow is the fourth release from a slate of 12 films directed by the first features project Proteges. The project, spearheaded by Nollywood veterans Dotun Olakunri and Steve Gokas, provides training, mentorship and funding for the production of debut feature films by young Nollywood directors.